Well, well, Kosovo are, are the biggest threat throughout. I think they've proved that with the performances. They dig the top um, before England um, played in that Bulgaria game. They're in very good form. But I, I just think the calibre of players that they've got within England's ranks now, I think whoever comes to Wembley, and I'm talking the very, very elite teams as well, they're going to give anyone a, a great run for the money. And Kosovo are nowhere near the level of some of the, uh, some of the elite teams. And I think England have too much. I think they've got... Um, so many key players in four positions, whether it's Sterling, Rashford, Kane, whoever you put into certain positions now for England, they're going to go on. They're going to go and create chances, and invariably those goals will start to flow. And Kosovo simply don't have enough. I don't think Kosovo's best chance of qualification is in second spot, which they've got a great chance of securing. But I think England have too much here. And I mentioned those lads up front. Sterling's probably, I would say, he's, he's a good bet as the as the outsider. Kane will be favourite for first goal. Sterling for first goal, just as a little outsider because he's getting himself in great goal-scoring positions. He's got five goals uh, throughout this campaign up to now as well. So Sterling is the outside one, but I just think England have got too much. England to win to nil because I can't see Kosovo scoring against them.